Hello, I'm Dan Toppy and welcome back to another brand new Fortnite video. Today I'm bringing you my second guide for the Season 4 Challenges. Today the second week of Challenges was released and in this video I'm going to go through every challenge, starting off with the hardest ones first, giving you a full guide on how to complete those ones, and then I'll move on to the simpler ones and just give you a few tips on how to complete them quicker and easier. So starting off with challenge number 5, as with every week it is our Star Searching Challenge. This week it says search between a scarecrow, a pink hot rod and a big screen. Obviously with the big screen part this means in risky reels as this is where the big screen of the driving cinema is so when you get to risky reels you're going to want to head out to the eastern side of it and you're going to want to head towards a stone clearing that's shown on the map now and this is where the star will pop out of the ground and all you need to do is hold down whatever key you normally use to open up a chest and this will redeem it for you and complete that challenge I definitely recommend trying to drop onto this at the start of the game just so no players have weapons and can easily kill you before you can get the star once you've completed that one the next hardest challenge is challenge number four and this week challenge number four says down in front of seven different film cameras. You might have noticed since the 4.0 update, which was when the meteor hit, that a load of film cameras have been added around the map. There's actually 10 film cameras around the map and all you need to do is go to seven of them and do any dance you want in front of them. On screen now is a map showing all 10 locations. Some of them you will have to search around in those areas a bit. I know one of them is in the basement, but they are pretty big so they shouldn't be too hard to find once you are in that general location. I definitely recommend going to the film set in Moisty Mire first, because in this location you do have two, so it is the most efficient to go there. And there's also two of the stars pretty close by that you might be able to get in the same game. And as you only need seven, you don't need another three after you've done them. But once you have danced in front of seven of the cameras then you will have completed the challenge and you can move on to the next one. All the other challenges are pretty simple so starting off with challenge number one. Challenge number one says search seven chests in Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove is obviously pretty big and it does have a lot of loot in it but the best place is to go if you do want to get these chests the quickest I'd say you want to go to the shop and you also want to go to the burger restaurant. In these locations you can generally find around three chests each especially if you are lucky with the shop you might even be able to find four but if you hit those two places first then you should get quite a few sorted then after that you just need to search a few more houses and you will have completed the challenge I'd say depending on how many people are dropping there, you should be able to get this done in two or three games. After that, challenge number two says consume seven hop rocks. This is really easy because each location with hop rocks generally has about four on the ground minimum, unless you do go to Dusty Divot where there is loads more. But as long as you land quickly and pick them all up really fast, if you have gone to a smaller crater, you should be able to get all four of them in one go. If you go to Dusty Divot, then it is a bit more risky, so I'd recommend going to a smaller place. The main locations for hop rocks are marked on the map now, but I definitely recommend going to a smaller smaller place like Tilted Towers or Risky Reels just because it isn't as open as Dusty Divot. If you are lucky when you go to Dusty Divot you might be able to get all seven done in one game but you also have a higher chance of dying. After you've completed that the next challenge says deal 500 damage with suppressed weapons to opponents. So to do this all you need to do is pick up a silenced pistol or a silenced SMG and do as much damage as possible to them. As it's only 500 damage this is basically only two and a half shielded kills or five non-shielded kills and the easiest way to do this as neither of these weapons are that powerful is you want to try and find one at the start of the game when players don't really have that much shield. If you do want to carry one during the game I definitely recommend the pistol just because of how accurate it is at long range and at close range with the silenced SMG you will definitely get outgunned by all the shotguns. After that challenge number six says get three explosive weapons eliminations so for this all you need to do is get three kills with grenades, C4, rocket launchers or any other explosive device in the game. One easy way to do this is to play in squads and just spam at squads with a grenade launcher because this does loads of damage over a big area but really I'd recommend just playing and picking up any explosive weapons you can find as you're going along and trying to use them whenever possible because this will be the more efficient way of doing it. And finally challenge number seven says eliminate three opponents in Tomato Town. So this is pretty simple a lot of players will be dropping at Tomato Town mainly to complete this challenge but also because of risky reels. It's pretty close to Tomato Town so players will drop in there and then push over to risky reels after. So just drop there and get three kills and that is all the challenges completed. I'd recommend going for the smaller buildings or maybe even the bridge and the red house and then pushing into it to get your kills. But that has been my full guide for all the week 2 season 4 challenges I hope it has been helpful if it has please make sure you leave it a like and subscribe for all the videos coming in the future I will be doing one of these videos for every single week of all this season and season 5 when it does come out if you are struggling with any challenges from season 1 make sure you check out the video that's on screen now and also if you haven't got your bonus star from last week make sure you're also checking out the one that's on screen now but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video